Darren Till making his Misfits debut and he was offered to fight. Yeah, I mean, this guy might have the most juice in his system of all time. Any PED usage in any combat sport is uh, fucking horrendous. Four years is not long enough. I've banned him for life. Get him the fuck out of the sport. I think it's despicable. I truly don't want to see him. I'm going to fight again. I'm going to rectify it, innit? Mams has given me the call and said, be ready, so I know it's that time. Was there any talks of potentially having that Deji fight again? Deji thinks he's, like, above me by far now, but I'm, I'm on your level now, bro. I'm better than you. One of the biggest fights from Misfits. Any name that Mams are giving me, I'll take any of them. Time for the madman to return and take his crown. I'm gonna come on here today and state it. I, me, myself, Swarms, want to fight. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Misfits News. I'm your host, Ben Devane Davis. As always, on the road here in the train station at Washington, D.C., joined by my co-host, BL. Before we get into all the breaking news and big updates, BL, how are you? I'm doing very well, Ben. I cannot wait for this week. It's a big week coming ahead. Dublin, August 31st. It's going to be a madness. We've got a lot of content coming your way. But first, we've got an action-packed episode for you. So let me give you the rundown. We have the latest on the KSI injury, his music performance, and his future potential fight dates. The latest on the Misfits world. And to finish off the episode, we will be hearing from a special guest. I love it. Well, let's start off with the man himself. He has come out talking about the injury and stated some things such as, I really started feeling it around mid-May. I honestly think I did it through golf, but I started feeling the pain in between my knuckles. I didn't think too much of it. Went to a doctor, he injected it, and I just kind of carried on. Started camp, started punching, started sparring, and then it just started to really get to the point where the slightest of touches would fill me with so much pain. So, Biel, that's kind of from KSI himself. It's tough to see. I mean, hand injuries are no joke. My left thumb was broken, and uh, I can relate with every little interaction hurting the dunk. Well, you stated he went to the doctor about it. He got his hand injected, and there was still no way to make it possible for him to fight. So it looks like they explored all the options. Unfortunately, it wasn't meant to happen. And to be honest with you, Ben, I wouldn't want to see KSI go in there and not be able to give it his all due to an injury. And although everyone's disappointed, I'm sure we're going to see him sooner than expected. And let's get onto that topic. He's called out a few fighters. Some big names there, Ben. Run me through. Yeah, he's doubled down on Floyd Mayweather and Amir Khan. So we'll see if those bounce materialize. Obviously, Floyd Mayweather is fighting John Gotti the third again. Uh, so maybe the timeline would work out. But I don't know, Bill. I like the Amir Khan fight. I know that we, we kind of were the ones that were <laughs> really trying to get that one going. He stated he wants those bigger fights and that he's doing a different lane to Jake Paul. If Jake Paul can't accept the 185 pound, then it's not for him. That fight's not going to happen. He said, realistically, Jake can focus on his fights with Mike Tyson. Those heavyweight fights, but KSI's not going into that latter weight class. He's staying at 185. He's going to fight these bigger names and do his own thing, which to be honest with you, I think it's good to hear. It's refreshing to hear that KSI's attention is not centered and narrated around what Jake Paul is doing. Couldn't agree more. Now, another Another topic, another big exclusive for KSI. We have heard he has an EP coming out and it will be debuting on August 31st on the day of the event. We've got a few songs. Let me run you through, Ben. We're going to start off with Down and Out featuring John Legend, who's done songs like Did All of Me and On Time. I mean, some absolute bangers there. So far away from Essex, obviously a friend of the channel and also done previous songs for KSI. Another song called Money, Low and Friends Don't. Ben, how excited are you to see the performance live there in front, having the best seats in the arena? I couldn't be more excited. This is going to be my favorite time concert of all time. It's going to skyrocket to the, the number one spot on my list, I think. And dude, if John Legend is there, that actually would be sick as fuck. I can't lie. Well, that's enough about KSI. Let's focus in on the Misfits world. There's a lot of updates. There's a lot of people making potential fights again. Let's start off with Darren Till making his Misfits debut, and he was offered to fight Dylan Dennis. Yeah, I think that Darren is a guy who talks so much these days, but I have not seen him do many things, right? He had a boxing debut, I think, two months ago that ended the geared. I think he was supposed to fight on the Jake Paul Mike Perry card. Uh, that didn't occur, so 
I don't know. I mean, it was good to get more information, but Dylan Dennis isn't exactly a trustworthy individual either. So, you know, I, I, I really don't put much faith in what either of them say. Whether that fight happens or not, I would love to see Darren Till make that transition into Misfits Boxing. I think there's some really interesting fights for him. In my opinion, so Happy would be a great matchup for him. King Kenny would be a great matchup for him. Those higher level boxers that need a higher challenge. And talking about King Kenny, he is officially back in camp for his toughest date fight. It's going to be self poppy. It has to be self poppy, right? So poppy and Qatar another... is what I'm hearing, Ben. Yeah, like there's no way that it's anyone else. The fans want that fight. I know Kenny and Soft Poppy both want that fight. I think the organization wants that fight. And uh, I don't want to speak for you, but I think I think we want that fight as well. I'd love to see it. I think it is an absolute super fight and a must that we need to get in the Misfits world this year. Now, moving on slightly, we have Swarms announcing his return. He wants to face a rapper, but it looks like we're going to also get him in one of these upcoming cards, whether it's the one in Miami or the one in Qatar. We're going to see him this year. Yeah, I don't know which rapper makes the most sense for Swarms. Honestly, like Ed Matthews would be a funny fight. I think to run that one back, Frank, he's not a rapper, but to me, the controversy over how their, their fight ended warrants a rematch, in my opinion. Yeah, Swarms versus I mean, Mist? What, what, yeah, Swarms and Mist. Do that. Think that They're different weight classes right now, but if Mist wanted to come down, I could see it being a super fight. They both fought Ryan Taylor. They both beat Ryan Taylor, so I'd love to see that fight. It's a good fight for the UK fans. And yeah, I mean, the question is, can Miss come down? <laughs> he's, he's, I mean, he's can a muscular he come guy. <laughs> no, if he lays off a few of those uh, pork pies, I'm sure he can get down and wait a little bit. But another big announcement, Arms Corleone, run me through, Ben. What has gone on? Why is he breaking titles right now? Yeah, I mean, this guy might have the most juice in his system of all time. Like, apparently he popped and was banned for four years. And the ratio was 34 to 1 for his testosterone levels, which for reference, back in the day, Alistair Overeem, I think, popped for like 14 to 1. And that was a oh. massive deal. And so 34 to 1 is ridiculous. He had all the flavors injecting into him. I mean, to be 34 and 1 is insane. He has been banned for four years. It doesn't look like we're going to get him anytime soon. But to be fair with you, Ben, in my opinion, I don't think he should have come back anytime soon, especially in the states we saw him after the fights. I mean, it really got to a dangerous point. And I I think that's where we need to sort of draw the line and say too far this time. No, it's it's really moronic. And the fact that he's taking PEDs for influencer boxing, the fact that if people behind the scenes were aware of this and allowed him to compete and put other influencers in life-threatening positions, right? Because that's just not okay, in my opinion. Any PED usage in any combat sport is fucking horrendous. And four years is not long enough. I've banned him for life. Get him the fuck out of the sport. I think it's despicable. And um, I truly don't want to see Arms Corley on ever fight again. Well, shifting gears to something and a brighter note a big announcement one that shattered the misfits well ben mams taylor was on a space and he announced possibly the most exciting tag team there could be on the market ben who did he call for there to be a tag team i think he mentioned that we'd be fighting <laughs> oh, we had well, no knowledge about it but <laughs> he threw it our way yeah. we're catching it and I believe we're going to take it if it gets offered if it gets offered you say confirmed here in our notes I don't think anything is confirmed or close to being confirmed but I think it would be quite funny you are a deceptively skilled boxer and it to me it would be hilarious to watch the fans be like oh shit we all could actually fight <laughs> <laughs> uh, meanwhile I'm probably going to get slept on the canvas if we do a tag team <laughs> Ben, I'm expecting you to do all the hard work and I'm just going to be cheerleading in your corner. That's all that's happening for um, having a tag team. Who are the names? Sure. Ben, you've got the platform now. We're on Misfits Boxing. Who are the names you want to call out? Put me on the spot here. I will maintain the B-Dave and Luis Pineda call out, I think. Put the belts back on the line. Let's get very fan favorite tag team and them back on board against us. I think it's a fair fight and I think we beat them. Well, today we've got a very special guest. One of the people that kicked off Misfits 001. Swarms, how are we doing today? In the Misfits news booth. How you doing, man? I'm good, man. I'm good. How you doing? I'm good, thank you. It's good to have you back, and it's good to see you, Swarms. I remember interviewing you at the start of my Misfits journey, and now I've got you here on Misfits news, talking about journeys. I want to talk about that last time we saw you in the ring, the Prime Card, Ed Matthews. Now let's take a moment, reflect on it. What are your thoughts and reflections on that fight? There's a lot. Like when it happened, it was so quick, in it. Like I actually did not know what happened, but when I watch it, I know the mistakes I made and stuff. Obviously, I've been. I'm cooking up in the lab now. I've been training a lot, so I know what mistakes I made there. And yeah, man, it's just, I need to get back in the ring and rectify it now, man. 
hundred percent. It was sort of floating about whether you rolled your ankle, you broke your ankle, yeah, or whether so it was I a punch. My ankle, I fractured my like, I fractured my ankle. I, I messed it up. Like it was hurting, and then obviously I got my X-ray and that, and I done it in. So it swelled up. Yeah, but obviously I just it recovered. I recovered. I couldn't box for a bit. When I did get knocked down by Ed, I tried to get back up. Ankle was gone, so I couldn't obviously carry on. But I, I was pissed because it was like the biggest stage, the prime. Mams was telling me about it. Like I, I trained very hard for that fight, and obviously, as you know, I wasn't meant to be fighting Ed. I was meant to be fighting Ryan Taylor. Everything was just it, it just didn't go well in it. But obviously, things happen for a reason. So yeah, I can't dwell on it too much. Well, that fight, as you said, you rolled your ankle. You could say it wasn't a fair decision to stop it, although it was because you couldn't yeah. continue. In terms of, do you wish you could have had another opportunity? Now potentially. Let me throw it your way. Would you want to rematch Ed Matthews potentially in the future? Yeah, yeah, I got to rectify it because, like, I go on my TikTok and now uh, people are just like, Ed Matthews, Ed Matthews. Like, it's a bit jarring. Obviously, I try to block it out, but I'm going to rectify it, innit? Mams has given me the call and said, be ready. So I know it's that time. So obviously, I'm training now. Get like maybe one fight, two fights. I'll fight him, but I know who I want to fight. But yeah, we'll go on to that. I know you're going to ask. We'll get on to it. We'll get on to it. <laughs> I know who I want to fight, but the person I want to fight, I don't know if it could happen because it's a weight difference. Okay, yeah. I think I I think I know the name that is going to be. I think I know the name that's going to be. I'm going to bring it later because I've actually got it written down. However, what I do want to talk about before we get into that is the transformation you've made. Obviously, you've been injured, and prior to that, on your Misfits debut, you were heavily out of shape. Now you're one of the people that is in best shape. Talk to yeah. me about that process and how you achieved that. You know where it was? It was just like obviously the boxing. I was training a lot, and obviously I was out of shape. So obviously, Mams obviously told me if you want to fight KSI you got to lose this weight in this time. People were telling me it was impossible, but I just like proving people right. So I was just putting in the work in, innit? I was putting the work in and I was around the right people to guide me and stuff. And yeah, man, it's... I don't know still to this day how I done it, but I managed to lose the weight in time. And till this day now, obviously like I, I eat sometimes bad, but till this day now, my diet's still 10 out of 10. I'm still on weight. If mum's told me, yo, you got to fight in Dublin, I will still make weight. Like I'm just up to scratch now. Like it's great. Like one good thing about Misfits, obviously it's good to fight and that, but it changes your life as well. Like with the weight losses and like even so happy as well. Like we speak about it. It's crazy. Like a lot of us are losing weight and it's not easy to lose weight. It's not easy. And it's an incredible transformation you've made. And to see where you yeah. went from to now and the level that you've improved upon as well is very remarkable and I'm sure you've inspired a lot of people. We're talking about rematches. We're talking about fights possibly in the future. Now, I saw on one of your call outs talking about Deji. However, you said that fight would be boring. Was there any talks of potentially having that Deji fight again? Do you know where it is? I feel like I need to win like two fights three fights for Deji because I feel like Deji thinks he's like above me by far now but you know what it is Deji is a good fighter like I don't hate him or nothing I just think he's a boring guy he's a good fighter but the way he people were talking about him and how he was going on he should have finished me that was my first ever four rounds like in a fight I usually do three rounds that was four rounds and I took him to the distance innit obviously I've changed my fighting style now and stuff now so I don't even want to fight him on Misfits I just want to spar him I just want to I told him I want to spar him and then I saw guess what his mum replied to me saying you don't want Deji smoke I was it's like, fair enough. But, hey, yeah, my mum comes yeah, through. <laughs> yeah, um, JJ's mum replied. I was just like, oh my God. I oh didn't my... know what to say. So I just didn't answer it. But you know what it is? I just want to spar Deji just to show him like, I'm, I'm on your level now, bro. I'm better than you. So can we make that happen? I... Potentially on here. Let's make it happen, make Deji. Happen. We can make it happen. Like, I could speak, get my coach to speak to Daily because Daily's good people that like, we speak and that. If, we could, if they want to make that happen, I'll 100% make that happen. Well, and if I it happens, I want to have front row seats. If it happens, oh, I expect to be there. 100%. Front row seats, man. I feel like I'm going to surprise a lot of people. I've changed coach. It's completely different. Like, Leon Z is training in the jungle with gorillas. Leon will watch this and he knows he said that. Like, it's it's really different now, man. But I can't wait to just show it, man. Let's talk about that change of coaches. Obviously, last time out, you were in the same gym as Danny Aaron's. Now you switch yeah. coaches. Talk to me about that process and what you have changed in your camp to ensure this time out, you're getting the yeah. win and you're getting the knockouts. Big up my, my old coach, H-Boxing, the booth, best gym. But you know what it was? It was just like, I just feel like people need changes so it was nothing like crazy I just told him I feel like I need a change and he was just like no obviously a lot of fighters do that and a lot of people around me friends and family was just like try to change stuff because obviously different coaches different fight they got different fights fighting styles right so um obviously I'm with now a guy that trained my girlfriend's brothers he was in a Commonwealth game Commonwealth as well fighting he's very good so like I've been training for him seven eight months straight away he's hard on me he's got me sparring amateurs like I've never sparred people this this level before innit like 
like amateurs and stuff like that and it's just got me prepared for it now man like it's got me ready for misfits 100 like i feel like when i even fight on misfits now it's going to be easier way easier we're talking about you fighting on misfits and we've mentioned a few ideas of coming back so you said i want to fight a rapper you just mentioned there again, a rapper, weight difference. Maybe make a call out here. Maybe this is your opportunity to call him out officially to <laughs> get the conversation flowing. I'm not going to lie on it. I don't hide nothing. Obviously, I've been watching your show. I saw he called me out first. He didn't call me out, but he said he doesn't mind fighting me. But I'm going to come on here today and state it. I, me, myself, Swarms, wants to fight Miss. I don't know about the weight difference, but I want to fight Miss. Reasons why being, he's a rapper. I'm a rapper. We're in the same industry. I knocked out Ryan Taylor with one punch and he knocked out Ryan Taylor with a jab. So it only makes sense. I've even messaged Mams. I said, Mams, I want Miss. Um, Mams has said, don't know, the weight. If he can meet me in the middle, I'm willing to go up. I'm in shape. I could do what, trust me, I'm good. I just want to prove to people, yeah, I'm not that, I'm that guy. If we can make it happen, let's make it happen. I've seen the fans say, it. I've asked the fans who do you want me to fight all they're saying is missed they told me fight Danny Aaron's as well but I said no nah, I'm not doing that I'm cool with Danny Aaron's plus he's with my old gym so we're not going to do that but missed happily happily no bad blood but it's just entertainment isn't it? I love that fight personally for me that is a big oh. super fight especially in the UK imagine that and imagine like if we do the entertainment side of it the diss tracks and that because Miss is a sick rapper as well so I would actually he'll give me a run for my money I'm not gonna get, lie get that in York Hall London and the whole venue's going off I'd love exactly. to see that I, I want to see this in the future and hopefully we can make it happen through here Misfits News that will be just, incredible if Miss could sort out the weight and, and Miss could lose like meet me in the middle because I would obviously have to go up he would have to come down a bit then yeah that will be one of the biggest fights some misfits the clash of the rappers that's that's the title the clash of the rappers it will be mad well yeah. miss knows it now his, his offer's officially sent over hopefully we'll hear a response however swarms if that fight does not happen we got to get you some other names realistically because of the weight we're not sure if we can make that happen is there any other rappers or any other youtubers i've seen alex wasabi back i've seen joe weller back is yeah. there anyone else any name like mams to give me i'll take any of them because the training that i'm getting like no one's training like me right now so yeah any names mams gives me i'm saying yes I've been away for a long time. It's time for the madman to return and take his crown. You get me? Yeah, man. I'm excited, though. I'm excited to come and show everyone my skills. Um, yeah, man. Well, big card coming up this week. Exactly. Dublin card. The pay-per-view. Yeah. We finally got a pay-per-view this year. What do you make of it? What's your overarching thoughts on the card? Big card. Big card. Big card. I'm... I'm very excited for it. Like I said, my guy Danny Aaron's is fighting. He's with my old team. I know he's going to get the win. He's fighting against Danny Simpsons that I saw in Dubai. Like, I met him one month ago, two months ago. Someone told me he's about to get into fighting, but who knew he was going to be on Misfits? So the two Dannys are fighting each other. That's a crazy thing. Danny plays FIFA. He's playing a guy that's won the Prem. Crazy storyline. Who else? Ben Williams as well. I've uh, done music show in, where, where was it? Magaluf, like, last month. He was DJing. Obviously, he's fighting there as well. Going to be crazy. Who else is there? Is DT DTG's fighting as well, isn't it? DTG's fighting against Minicom. DTG's team with me. He's fighting. Hey, this card's crazy. HS Tiki Toki. H oh, him. He's crazy. I, I can't. Do you know what? HS Tiki Toki, yeah, he's actually funny. Like, he's entertaining, isn't it? I actually like him still. He's funny. He's going to fight. I'm not going to lie. I've seen the guy he's fighting. Yeah. Not happening. Gonna... Yeah. HS is winning that one, man. <laughs> I've seen him just fight that Circa guy, man. He's absolutely demolished him, and Circa was bigger than him. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, it's going to be crazy. KSI's got new music coming out. Mad. He hasn't dropped music for a long time. So, it's going to be very interesting to see who's on his album, what's coming out. And that's it's going to be sick. I'm definitely getting myself down there man well, on the topic of KSI he was obviously meant to fight on that card two fights one night Slim and Anthony Taylor evidently so yeah. he's been injured what do you make of this whole controversy so many people have so many things to say what's your thoughts on it you know what if KSI is injured he's injured isn't it like let's be real his last fight he lost so he's got pressure he has to win his next fight now so um, he ain't gonna go in a fight if he's injured you know what I mean? I like Anthony Taylor. I've got a lot of respect for him. But me personally, I just wanted to see Slim against KSI. It would have been more entertaining and stuff. But him not fighting. Yeah, man, he's injured. You can't really do nothing about it, innit? The card's still a lit card. He's still going to be there performing in that. So, yeah, man. I just can't wait to see him get back into action. Because last time he fought was Prime as well, right? Prime card two. That's the one. So, yeah. He ain't fought the same time as me. So, yeah. Hopefully, we'll see you both in the same card once again. <laughs> Hopefully, now, we'll see us both. 100%. <laughs> now, Swarms, so you're one of the people that have fought KSI. So, if you are in his shoes, where do you go from here? Who do you fight next? Well, because of KSI's name and stuff now, I would say fight a slim, fight someone, get the win quickly. And you know what you do? You go for a big name straight away, 
Conor McGregor. Um, who else is there? Yeah, the Conor McGregor's. Well, he's calling out, he's calling out Mayweather and Amir Khan. I mean, I was gonna ask. He's called out Mayweather. He's called out Mayweather and Amir Khan for next year, start of next year. Do you think he would actually stand a chance? Having faced him, having felt the power. Was Khan a world champion? I think he yeah. was. Khan. Yeah, he was. Khan's fought the likes of Canelo and that. I don't know if he still got it. Well, he still got it, but I don't know. But Mayweather, Mayweather's a different breed, man. Boxing's in his blood. Like he he lives, breathes. Like now he's got a fight coming up. He's still in shape. Obviously, KSI wants to get revenge for Deji. Because remember, Mayweather fought Deji. I would tell him go for Khan. But if he could get that Conor McGregor one, that would be the most entertaining fight, most probably on Misfits. Would you say he stands a chance with those bigger names? A lot of people write him off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, 100%. KSI trains like a professional, bro. Like he's lost the weight. You've seen him in shape when he's in shape. He's powerful. I can tell you he's powerful. I'm not I'm not gonna lie, he's powerful. So yeah, anything could happen in this boxing, you know what I mean? Now yeah. the name that comes up every time you bring up KSI is obviously Jake Paul. Now Jake Paul has got a mega fight against Mike Tyson later on this year. What yeah. do you make of that? There's mixed emotions. The entertainment side of it, like, yeah, it's gonna be good and that, but then there's this let's be real. Me personally and boxing experts, they're gonna tell you Jake Paul's gonna knock out Matt Tyson. He's old. We've seen it already. They were meant to fight before, but because of conditions, he couldn't fight. So what's to tell you that he's got better already? He's still got conditions, man. Like I don't want Mike Tyson to get knocked out because he's such a big name and he's a legend. But at the same time, Jake Paul knocks him out. It's good for YouTube boxing and it's gonna be good for him. So it's like it's mixed emotions, you know what I mean? But it's gonna be, I'm not gonna lie, it's on Netflix, one of the biggest fights. It's gonna be good entertainment. It's gonna bring YouTube boxing to another level. I it's say. gonna be a super fight. Either way, obviously, the one I want to see is Jake Paul versus KSI, but right now it doesn't look like it's going to happen. The weight difference is just not happening. We need to see that fight happen. Like, we need that fight to happen. That's going to be the biggest fight on YouTube boxing ever. Who do you favor ever. in it? Boxing wise, technically wise, Jake Paul. Like, but power wise, Jake Paul's got power too. I don't know, man. I, I can't say. That. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we stick out of that one. <laughs> we, we don't want the comments uh, you know grilling. What? Gonna, you know what? I'm going to sit on the fence for this one, man, because it's, oh, I need to see KSI's fighting style. Has he still got? the same style if he's still got that same style against Jake Paul it'll be a it'll be a long night for him but we'll see I think the fans win personally on that one I think the fans win yeah. I'm staying out of predictions <laughs> I want to work things back to your career obviously musician yeah. turned boxer when can we expect Swarms to perform potentially on Misfits can we see you make a cameo in Dublin I was waiting for the call up in Dublin I thought Mams was going to give me the call up <laughs> You know what? I think my next fight, I'm going to actually do something different. I'm going to come up performing my song. One of my songs or whatever. If i got a diss track out or whatever, I'm just going to actually perform it. Get the cow jumping with some performers and that. Like, I'm going to get jumping, man. It's the return of swarms. But yeah, you'll see me soon, man. Can't wait. Swarms, musician and boxer. I want to finish things off and round things off to give you the platform now for any last words to your fans or exclusives. Let them know now. Now's your time. I know you lot have missed the madman, but I'm going to make my return very soon. I'm staying fit, I'm staying in shape, and I'll be back soon to take my crown. Swarms, it's been an absolute pleasure having your Misfits news. I look forward to seeing you hopefully in Dublin, and we'll have yeah, the I'll return be... of the Madman. Thank you for having me. One episode of Misfits news. Always bring you the latest updates. This week, we've got Misfits and his own X-Series 17 featuring some of the fan favorites like Dean the Great. Also, the debut of HS Tiki Taki. Uh, Dave Fogarty, Danny Aaron's competing in the main event and that KSI conference. So make sure you get that zone subscription and purchase the pay-per-view. And tune in all, all the Fight Week content. We've got a ton of stuff coming uh, over the next week or so, and so uh, you don't want to miss it. As always, I've been your host, Ben Davis, joined by my co-host, BL, and we will see you in Dublin.